Hello YouTubers, welcome to Nasdaq YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In today's video, I'm gonna start to talk about the vulnerability assessment. We're gonna build vulnerability assessment from Guardian Web GUI. We're gonna create a um, data source. Then we're gonna identify the assessment scope and the run assessment. And then we need to view the result. Eventually, we're gonna do some exception for the result. Um, here is the diagram I'm gonna use for today's lab. We have IBM Guardian standalone Guardian installed on IP 192.168.2.14, and we also have um, MS SQL MySQL installed on Windows 2016 at 192.168.2.15 This is our web GUI uh, We are gonna do the assessment well, vulnerabilities let's, see. let's go to the Harden vulnerability assessment This uh, assessment builder but before we can create the assessment then we have to define the data source create a new data source uh, we're going to choose our application type which is security assessment we're going to have a name and then we're going to choose a database type which is MS SQL Server Data Direct you can put some description you can share your data source with other applications um, we're gonna assign the credential of course so in this lab to make it simple I'm using SA um, but uh, if you have a specific username and password for your database then you can put in here and the host name of your database server 192.168.2 15 and of, all, of course it's a the standard port 1433 you can put um, specific database here or you can leave them empty level scanning all database which your user credential have permission to do uh, we will leave it uh, default empty so we can scan everything there but uh, it's your option you can put a specific database there as well so you need to save first then you can test connection and connection successful so that means the like information we put here is good we can do assessment now we can create in a new assessment through the assessment builder click this plus sign um, then we need to put a description we're gonna do MS SQL server VA Uh, we are not we didn't create audit process yet so here is empty but um, you can if you already have audit process to generate a report or send in the emails and um, then you may want to choose your audit process here um, data source that the one we created MS SQL, add it in. Great. Um, apply. That's pretty much it. But then we need to define uh, assessment test here. Config test. That's the scope. How many vulnerabilities you want to scan? How many um, tests you want to do? MS SQL Server. At this moment, you see there's nothing empty because we it's a new scan, a new vulnerability assessment. Uh, you have to choose your type, your database type, um, which is MS SQL Server in this lab, and choose all of them. You you can choose just some of them, but uh, by default, I want to assess all vulnerabilities here. Click Add Selections. Okay, all assessment, all tests 
have been added into this vulnerability assessment task. You can click return to go back and uh, now we already have our first security assessment and uh, we can run it now. So assessment execution is added to the Guardian job queue. You can check your job queue in the Guardian job queue here. You will see the status of your task. Okay, so now it's running. Um, sometimes you will see it's waiting if you have multiple tasks. So waiting, so it's waiting status. Right now it's uh, running. It probably take a couple of minutes to get it done. It shouldn't take long. Our database is small. I'm gonna pause the video here until it's done. Okay, um, the vulnerability assessment task has been completed as you can see from here. You can keep refreshing your page until you get the completed status. Then you can go back to Assessment Builder. Then you can click View Result. So the result page is opening, but uh, the system is kind of busy and they are generating this HTML page for you. Okay. Since it's done, then let's take a look. So we get the testing passing is 71%. That means 71% tests have been passed. So you get this small, nice diagram to show you the assessment result history. We only run the assessment once, so you only see a dot here, which shows 71. Once you have multiple running, you can see a nice curved diagram here. To sh then you can show how you improved or how your uh, assessment score changed. So you can download the PDF file. And, uh, but the one thing I would like to show you is filter feature here. So you can click filter and then you can change the scores so you may want the you may only want to see the fail the test so then you can just choose fail and apply it to it then the page gonna be changed to only show your failed result here which is um, 40 only show you 40 result out of 262 that's what nice and you also, uh, I would like, most likely I would like to choose only critical and the major one to work on at the beginning, if you have so many. So that means oh, we only got 39 of them. So that's a 39, which is a reasonable number to work after you did the first scan. Um, one more thing I would like to mention here is um, uh, once you find out something, you want to exclude it from your scanning report. Uh, for example, the SQL Server patch level, um, you may not able to patch it. That will take times for testing and then apply to your production environment. So you may want to add the test exception um, until your SQL DBA are able to patch your SQL Server. So you gave them time, for example, you can give them to um, October 22nd, give them two months. And uh, so until then, so you give a justification, DBAs are going to patch this vulnerability. Save it. So next time when you run this assessment, this finding, this failed finding will not show in your report. That's basic steps you can do using vulnerability assessment. Thank you for watching.